Good morning from a uh, home in the kitchen. I am um, um hang on just a second here. Okay, there we are. I changed my internet thing. It was operating really, really slow. Hey, Amy. Hey, Brandy. Um, I, uh, it's been a while since I've done this, so I thought I would do it, but then I didn't really think about it too much until I realized I have, like, my sweater thing on and my hair's disgusting, but, uh, anyway. And I have a, Sai, can you say hi? Hi. Right by those knives. <laughs> What's the... I know you're done stirring. Let's move you over here. Huh? Okay, hold on. Okay, come here. Okay, now look. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you done? Can you say hi? <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is I'm, I mentioned it before, good helper. Yeah, he is a good helper. Brady, you're in Colorado? Oh. Hey, Rhonda. I didn't know that. I didn't know you were there. I thought I missed that. Okay, so anyway, usually on the weekends, I make a big breakfast, and I say big because it requires more than, like, dumping cereal in a bowl. Um, but I want to just kind of go over my little quick, I don't know, the quick stuff that I tend to do, and feel free to tell me what you do because if it can help me save some time, I will, uh, Oh, thank you, Brandy. I'll tell him he ran off. He's totally done with me. Um, my niece is here, and they're watching TV to come in. <laughs> so they're really excited about that. Um, so I do the same process every time I cook this breakfast. It's like I cook the same thing um, every time, but it's like it's like a routine. Like I have it down, and it goes a lot quicker. So I start off with as soon as I get up, I get my biscuits out of the freezer. No, I don't make homemade biscuits. Have I ever? No. Will I ever? Probably. But do I want to every weekend? No. This is not Little House on the Prairie. So, I buy, and I should have left them out, I buy the, I think it's Pillsbury Brands, but it's the butter tasting. Oh my gosh, they're so good. It's like, you can see like chunks of butter in the frozen biscuits, and I don't buy it in that canister, because then you have to like make it pop and it scares the crap out of me. So I buy the, the frozen bag and I put those in my, I put those in my round piping where they're touching and I get those going because those take about 20, 23 minutes or so. So I get those going first and then I go sit down and then drink my coffee because then I have a little bit of time. And usually on the weekend we eat breakfast a lot later um, and I'll tell you a secret. It's kind of like a bad mom thing, but, um, I kind of delay breakfast on the weekends a little bit. I may give them a little snack if they're just starving to this, but I do that, so it kind of runs into lunch, <laughs> and then I don't have to take, like, two meals, because then, like, they can have a little snack, and then they eat the big breakfast, and then they're not hungry for lunch, so we'll just do, like, another little snack, like applesauce, and, or banana, or... I've been giving them like little, little baby carrots and stuff. You know, so they're still getting their healthy stuff. I don't deprive them. When they're hungry, they eat, but it's less work in the kitchen for me. Okay, so I get the biscuits going, and then I go ahead and I put the bacon grease in my cast iron, because so this is what's going to be my gravy. <laughs> and what I do to get my bacon grease, so this is how that works. So every time... I make bacon as well, and so I get the bacon grease out of my little bowl that I save my bacon grease in. I put it in the refrigerator every time, and then after I get done cooking my bacon on my griddle, it's my favorite place to cook bacon, I, it dumps off into this little bitty container that, right there, see that? Okay, and then once the bacon's done, I pour it all back, I pour it all into this, and it's ready for next time that I want to make gravy. So it's just kind of like this process that just keeps going. And um, I don't know, it works out really well. So I fry my bacon next after I put the bacon grease in the 
cast iron. And I fry my bacon. I'm really excited because I usually use farmland bacon, but I buy the thick cut because I really like thick bacon, but they didn't have any. They were out at the grocery store. Hey, kids! And um, this was like classic cut or something, but it was on sale for $2.99. And if you've been following me, like recently, I've been kind of putting little, I don't know, what do you call it, comments out there that I'm budgeting. And I'm not really budgeting. I'm just seeing a tight wad, like seeing how much, how much we can get by without spending a ton of money at the grocery store with using what we have on hand. Oh. And um, so when I saw that bacon for $2.99, I was like, I'm totally getting it. So I did. That's really cheap. Like it's normally six bucks, five ninety eight. Okay, so I bought that, cooked the bacon, and then while that bacon's cooking, my youngest helped me with this. I go ahead and whip up my scrambled eggs. Now with my scrambled eggs, I do you know, however many eggs, like one per person that's gonna be eating. Hey kids! And then I do heavy cream, shredded cheddar cheese, and that's it. I used to put kosher salt in it, but when my kids started eating eggs with us, I kind of left out the salt because they don't need it. And we pretty much cover it with the white gravy anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I go ahead and mix that up and set that aside and wait. And then what I'm gonna do is cook that on the, hey Kate! I'm going to cook that on the stove top, the scrambled eggs. Guys, this is how skanky I am today. I have my Friday shirt on. I totally slept in it. <laughs> I slept in the clothes I was wearing last night, yet yesterday afternoon. I haven't even changed. Like, I just, this thing is the most comfiest thing. I sported it at Target, and it is, I wear it all the time. This is what my husband, if you read one of my posts recently, this is what my husband said. Is that like a jacket? Is that a shirt? Is that a robe? Um, cause you've been wearing it a lot. Like, does it need wash? <laughs> yeah, he's starting to notice I need to like take it off and wear something different again. Oh, Jennifer, I do have a cute apron. I have, I have an obsession with aprons, but I didn't even put it on this morning. That's how like, I probably didn't wake up until two minutes into this Facebook live, honestly. Okay. So I think my bacon's pretty much done. I cooked... I cook this bacon a little longer than I normally do, but it's crunchy, and I love, do you guys like crunchy bacon? I love the crisp, crunchy bacon. My dad likes the um, chewy, like this. No, like it wiggles. So when he's eating breakfast with us, which isn't, it's like once a year on Christmas morning, I try to leave it a little floppy, like a dead fish, or not a dead fish, but kind of grosses me out. But since my niece is here, I don't know what she likes. So I'm going to make crispy and I'm going to leave it floppy like that. Okay. So my bacon is done. I've cooked all the bacon in the package. I have floppy and I have crispy. Hold on. This is hot. Looks like it's me first. Hands to ourselves. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Well, what have, I, what have I said ever since last night? Hands to ourselves. I've seen you bothering him and I've seen you bothering him. Go back in there and watch Pee Wee. And I will let you know it's almost ready. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm scraping my bacon grease off into the tray that I will save for later. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is also where my, my uh, pancakes will go. My youngest stirred the pancakes for me. They're a little thick, so I'm going to add a little bit of water. But my the, my favorite pancake mix to use is Krusty's, where you just add water. And guys, I know that sounds gross, but it is the best. They make the fluffiest pancakes I've ever had in my life. Oh, you like crunchy bacon, too. Good. Oh, oh, good. You do. Good, I'm not alone. I don't know how he eats it like that. Look, look. And then there's this. It doesn't flop. Mmm, mmm. Or, hold on, I'm going to add some water. Okay, so since my, that was a funny part on Pee Wee apparently. So since my toddler was mixing my pancake mix this morning, I didn't put as much water in as I normally do because I didn't want it going. So I just went and added some more. Now the key to these pancakes, and if these don't turn out, I wouldn't be surprised since I've been letting them sit, but they, leaving them lumpy with that mix because then they just puff up and they're, gosh dang guys, they're so good. So remember I said they're crusties, and it's just the regular, like, just add water. And we put um, cinnamon 
And then this morning, I let my toddler pick what he wanted. I call him a toddler. He's three. Are three-year-olds still called a toddler? There is a man exercising and running outside. There is snow on the ground here in Missouri. I just don't like to run, so that's why I say that. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more water because this is like a paste. Okay, so for my griddle, it has the bacon grease on it that I swiped off in it, but hey, Carrie, um, and I'm still, it still has some like ugh on it, and my kids are pretty picky, so if they see like brown bacon stuff on their pancakes, they're going to, what is that? So I typically just get like a paper towel and wipe off the excess with my tongs, because I don't want to burn myself. All right. I think it's still too thick, but anyway, we'll run with it. You smell bacon. Okay. So my paper towel. It's ready. Not yet. And then I get my paper towel. And then I wipe this off so bacon grease doesn't get on the pancakes. And then, there we go. Watch out, baby. This is hot. And then I get my butter. And I use stick butter, real butter, not margarine. I didn't like the margarine. For so long, when I started cooking, Graham. For so long, I thought, oh, there's no difference, you know. But there's a big difference. And I use the unsalted butter, too. And I find that I just like unsalted better. And I just take it like this and rub it like this. On my griddle, same griddle. So the reason I like doing the reason I like doing this is because it's less dishes that I have to wash if I can cook it all on the same thing. And this griddle is so easy to clean. I literally just take like a little soap and sponge and a rag and just clean it off. Go. I know what you're doing. Okay. So let me add just a little bit more water and I got a good trick to show you. Hey, Nikki. Oh, morning. Hi, Lena. Okay, so my kids are older now, so no kids shows. I'm out of the loop. The only show I'm thinking is Pee Wee Herman. What are the boys... Yes, that's what they're watching. They're watching the Pee Wee's Holiday Movie or whatever on Netflix. My niece turned it on. And my husband loves that movie. So he had to watch a little bit before he left this morning. You look gorgeous. Oh my gosh. That's really nice. <laughs> this is disgusting, I think. So thank you. All right. So my next little trick here. For the pancakes, is I dip my pancakes out onto the griddle with a measuring cup. Because I mix it, this is a different bowl, I usually mix it in. I usually mix it in a like a clear glass anchor bowl. But I just grabbed this one in a hurry this morning. All right, I think this is gonna have to, oh boy. I think this is gonna have to suffice. And since my toddler started this morning and we had that little mishap, there's no more lumps in it. So I don't know if I'll turn it. So I grab my like third cup measuring spoon or third cup measuring cup whatever and I dip it out in this and I just put it on the griddle like that and what that does is it gives me a like really good sized pancake it's not too big it's not too small and they're super easy and then I flip them when the tops of them start bubbling up really well because that's the sign that the pancakes are ready to flip. Did you know that? No, you do. And yes. They're not beautiful. The lumps are not there like I practice and preach, but they'll be edible. Okay, so I get those pancakes going. I have my griddle on like 350. I keep it on 350 for everything. That's what I cook the bacon on. That's what I cook. Um, my pancakes on. You like floppy bacon or crispy? Ugh. See, I knew she did. She likes it. She came in and she grabbed the floppy bacon. That's so gross. I like crispy. Okay. So then, once I have the pancakes going, that's when I start my scrambled eggs. So I just get a skillet over here. 
put the butter in the skillet, same butter that I got out for the pancakes, and I dump my eggs in, and I cook my scrambled eggs. And then I make my gravy very last. So because I'm doing multiple things and doing Facebook Live, hey Erin, hey Amanda, hey Jenny. Um, if I get too many things going, I'll ruin the gravy, so I'm kind of holding off. But I usually do start warming the bacon grease up right about now. <clears throat> okay, so something else, why, hold on, while I am on here with you guys, I wanted to mention that if you all missed, I've only done like one post for it so far, saying that we're planning on building a studio out in our basement. And what that means is it'll be a whole new kitchen and a whole new living area. And you want a piece of bacon? Okay. And that's where I'll be doing like cooking videos. And um, the, for the living area, I'll be sitting down talking to, you know, other women and friends and maybe the date nights. So I'll have my husband on with me doing Facebook Lives or whatever it is. So I'm going to have a whole new studio. My goal and my plan is to have it all bright white. And um, can you say good morning? Good morning and happy new year. And happy new year. <laughs> so you won't be staring at my real life kitchen, which is okay. It's okay, but and I'll still do this in my real life kitchen. I'll still do Saturday morning, Sunday morning breakfast, whatever on Facebook Live. But I am really looking forward to my studio kitchen where I can leave all the camera up with the great lighting and the good angles and just have all my stuff out and I can just like close the door and leave it come up to my family at the end of the day. I have to thank my neighbor. Oh my gosh, I forgot about my pancakes. Ava. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're not too bad. Um, there we go. They're turning out a little more brown than I wanted to. But anyway, my I have to thank my neighbor because he came over one day and said, Jessica, I just I really think that you need to use this um, unfinished part in your basement and use it to its fullest potential and build it out. I was like, you are so smart. Like, why did I not think of this? So I'm really excited to get that going. I'm going to actually see if there are any brands or suppliers or anything that want to work together with me on it. And hopefully we'll get this done a lot sooner instead of just waiting for me to budget and save money for it and all that stuff. So if you know of a favorite um, appliance or a favorite kitchen faucet or a favorite anything that belongs in a kitchen or flooring, let me know because I would love to reach out to them and see if they'd be interested in working together on that. Okay, so my pancakes are a little more toasty brown than I wanted, but my kids will eat them. Okay. This is why I talk about I can't multitask, people. All right. So, my butter's melting in the skillet for my scrambled eggs. So, I'll make those, and then I will get my gravy going. And I've made gravy on here before, I think, but maybe not. So, I turn my cast iron on to medium-high heat. And I get, this is a little trick my mom taught me, and I don't think she still does it, but I still do it. I just grab my little mason jar. You need smell-o-vision. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer, that's so sweet. Gotta go, oh, have a good day too. Thank you. Uh, my mom gets a little mason jar, and she puts two spoonfuls, heaping spoonfuls of flour, and then just pours a little milk in it. I would say, I don't know, maybe that's a half a cup of milk, maybe. And then you put the lid on it and you shake it. And then you saw I have my bacon grease and my cast iron. And then I pour my milk, 2%, skim, whatever. When the bacon grease is melted in my cast iron, I pour some in there. And measurements are horrible for me. So I just like line the bottom of the cast iron maybe like that much with milk. And I let that heat through a little bit. And then I pour in this flour milk mixture, kosher salt, pepper. And then I use my favorite kitchen tool that I used this morning for eggs already. But I'll rinse it off. I do this every time too. It's amazing how repetitive I get when I get a system down. Oh, gross. Okay, hang on here. All right, so this tool is amazing. It's a flat whisk, and I use this to make my gravy. I used it to uh, let my toddlers scramble the eggs, and then I use this for my gravy too. It keeps the lumps out, and it just makes really well. My gravy is the worst. Can't wait to see you. <laughs> think it's the worst and you know mine probably won't turn out since I'm not paying attention I burnt the pancakes again will you get me a plate out please so I can put the pancakes over there um so the pancakes yep yeah, that's fine so the pancakes are done and another trick I've learned so you know when you see 
pictures of pancakes like in magazines and on my blog even. They're all stacked up so beautifully. Oh, oh well. Um, they're all stacked up so beautifully, and I thought it was just appearance. But guys, thank you. I realize when I start stacking them, it traps the heat in longer, so they stay warm. I don't even have to like put them in the microwave to keep them warm. Hey, Katie. Um, so I just set them inside, and then I have more batter, so I'll keep making them alongside everything over here. But stack them; it traps the warmth in. And then put some butter all over it if you like the butter. All right. So my eggs are. Or my butter's melted for my eggs. And I just dump it in. And what I use for my eggs is this little gadget, which I learned from the Pioneer Woman. She's amazing. And she calls it a fish turner, I think. And this is the Pioneer Woman's actual thing. I have a couple. The other one's not Pioneer Woman, but they work just as fine. I use this for my scrambled eggs. And I just cook those along. The gravy is getting closer the bacon grease is melted so there we go i know you can't see far over there so see when i get my studio i'll have cameras where you can see down i'll have the kitchen or the stove closer so you can see it's not quite melted as far as bacon grease how much to put in the cast iron i just kind of wing it too i keep putting more and more every time i make gravy because i love that bacon grease taste in the gravy so I probably put like a fourth of a cup of bacon grease in the cast iron when I make gravy. I plan to make all that in a bit except for the pancakes. Ooh, good. So you're going to be having a good breakfast too. Idiot. Idiot. Okay. All right, so my bacon grease is ready. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to pour my milk in and just cover like the bottom of it. They are hot, yes, don't touch. <laughs> okay, so I poured the milk into the cast iron. And this is where I'm really going to screw it up because I'm not paying attention. So right now in the cast iron, it's only milk and bacon grease. And I'm letting that kind of heat through a little bit. And then when I feel like it's heated through, hi, oh, hang on here. All right, I let my tool fall in my cast iron. When it's heated through a little bit, I add in the flour milk mixture. And this is where I put in the kosher salt and the pepper. I always keep kosher salt in a little dish. Oh, my husband's here. Hang on. Um, I keep the kosher salt nearby the bowl so I can just pinch it and throw it in. And then I do, oh no, oh yeah, I got the starches. And then I put pepper in it and then that's it. I just kind of stir it with this flat whisk, try to keep the lumps out and it's literally, I'm burning everything because I'm distracted. So then I just add a few little pastors with the whisk, and then it's ready. It's warm, it's ready. I pour it in a gravy boat and put it on the table so it's easier for everybody to pour over everything. And I know you can't see it, I'm sorry. But that is it. I didn't do the pepper. I gotta put the pepper in. Okay, so that's it guys. I My husband's home, he had to run an errand real quick. My kids are starving, I got the Gravy finishing, the eggs finishing. I'm going to try to salvage those because those burnt a little bit. And then we're going to eat. So I hope you guys have a great day. Look at you, foodie gal. <laughs> did you make biscuits already? I did. I used the... What are they? I just said them. Is it Pillsbury? I don't know. It's the blue bag, and they're frozen, like in a bag. And they're my favorite. Get the butter tasting. That's what they're called, butter tasting. I have my bacon made already on Sunday nights. I made... Ooh. Oh, that's a good idea. You... That is a really good idea, Sue. I love that. It's a really good idea. Okay, so I'm hopping off here. I hope you guys have a great day and eat a really good breakfast this morning, and I'll see you soon. Bye.